Good morning, Sri Lanka. Uh, good morning, Mr. Kevin. <laughs> uh, nice to see you here. And uh, uh, today I'm with the Professor Piyala Marasinghe and the founder of the uh, Sephron Network, Mr. Andropanda. Piyala Marasinghe. <laughs> Hello, Professor. How are and, you? And uh, I'll introduce you to Mr. Andropanda. The Good morning, sir. Anura Bandara. Yes, Anura Bandara. So, look, just to fill you in on who I am, I'm um, I'm an Australian Greek. I'm living in Greece. I'm doing a lot of stuff with um, agriculture from the point of view of supporting heritage seeds. So over here, I've done a small program on collecting and documenting the seeds on one island and then education on how to grow the seeds and I'm doing film to show people how to do this so we can try and support the heritage and that's how actually I got in touch with you Nama. Thank you Gary, good morning. <laughs> good morning. I'm Piyal, I'm working uh, in Sri Lanka in the medicinal plant conservation and uh, cultivation programs. I have about uh, 30 years experience in the same field. Um, so where are you working right now? At the moment I am working to the um, provincial government of Sri Lanka. Uh, we have the Health and Indigenous Medicine Ministry. Uh, so I am uh, working to them as an advisor of cultivation of medicinal plants and conservation project. If you're talking about conservation of medicine, and I in front of me have six products that come from Sri Lanka, then how do you keep those sustainable? Actually, uh, we used to collect uh, these uh, raw materials from forest, but uh, now we harvest raw material from the cultivated uh, fields because for the conservation of forest, as well as uh, we can get high quality uh, raw material if we cultivate under organic uh, conditions without using chemicals. Nice. So that program is going on Sri Lanka. Now obviously you must be quite heavily involved in the development of these products. Would you mind talking a little bit about the mee balm and what the indigenous um, food plants are that you extract from and how they benefit people? Yeah, actually the uh, I mean, uh, base of mee balm is the uh, uh, medicinal oil extract from mee uh, seed oil, that is Maduka longifolia botanically. It's a tree, so uh, the, it produces seasonally fruits. Sometimes uh, one fruit contains one or two seeds. So we have to collect uh, seeds, then we have to extract the oil. So this is the main ingredient. The second one is the cinnamon. You have heard about the Ceylon cinnamon. This is our endemic species, which is growing naturally in Sri Lanka, uh, Ceylon cinnamon. So inner bark of the uh, tree is used to extract uh, cinnamon oil. So what are the benefits and how do you use this product? Yeah, this, this is actually the cinnamon oil is an essential oil. Uh, it has sort of uh, antibiotic effects also right. uh, to control some uh, not only bacteria but uh, uh, it's good for uh, controlling the fungus uh, normally growing on the skin. It's also a, a fungicide. Uh, when uh, the mee balm is used to uh, massage the body, also the um, uh, cinnamon oil as lemon grass oil also, yes. the third ingredient. Uh, so it gives the uh, effect for the uh, massaging of the body. So uh, especially uh, the herbal massage, we can use this balm uh, to give the uh, good uh, blood circulation uh, of the body also. That's very nice. Also on the package you've got about um, not only tinea and those type of fungus things, but just it helps with back pain. How does that work? Uh, the finally, uh, the, uh, this includes uh, the bees, uh, now uh, that is called bees wax, when the honey bee, yep. when they uh, make their hives, 
they use sort of uh, uh, wax, natural wax. That is also we include to a uh, knee balm to give the uh, that balm effect. So this is hundred percent natural, uh, but in Sri Lanka a little rare uh, base wow. to the balm. So if you wouldn't mind telling me the ingredients altogether, please. Yeah, all of them are four. That is uh, mee seed oil, cinnamon oil, lemon grass, leaf oil, and bee wax, nice. natural bee wax. Nice, so, and that uh, explains the colour. So you use this if you want to do a deep tissue massage, you use it as an antifungal, and you use it um, to help you with um, aches and pains and insect bites. Yeah. And uh, it's 100% pure. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Professor, is it possible to overuse any of these products? Long ago. The, actually, uh, we have the history, sometimes uh, more than 500 years. So no side effects so far recorded. So uh, even uh, separately, uh, this uh, me oil is used for uh, joint pain and other skin diseases from long ago. That's unbelievable. Actually, I forget that this is um, traditional medicines that you are now bringing out again. And these are all 100% natural, aren't they? Sure. This is 100% natural product from a traditional medicinal form materials in Sri Lanka. Well, you've shown me the collection container for the honey. Um, like, how do you extract the essential oils? Yeah, actually for the extraction also use our traditional extraction methods. Really? Uh, yeah, okay. so uh, uh, we use uh, the wooden uh, extractors with uh, some filters, that is especially for the uh, meat oil. But in the case of uh, uh, cinnamon oil, you, we use the uh, uh, distillation units, uh, steam distillation right. to extract, yeah. Uh, uh, as well as even uh, uh, lemon plus oil also extracted from uh, the distillation methods, that steam distillation. Fantastic, thank you for that. The next one I have in the collection is the shampoo pack. Now this comes uh, dry, which is surprising. Most shampoos are liquid. Yes, actually uh, this, uh, the main ingredient is the, the, the leaf of Vedalu and uh, the penilla, the penilla fruit is this one. Um, uh, this penilla means in our local language, the soap. So this is traditionally fake soap. No, actually, this is a fruit. The fruit coat produces the natural soap. So, How about so that? if you uh, yeah, if you uh, put to the uh, water, you will get the real natural. Uh, uh, yeah, Mr. Bandara will show it to you. So this is the main uh, uh, ingredient that produce the uh, uh, the shampoo uh, and conditional uh, base for this uh, product. Traditional method, we use this uh, uh, soap nut for making uh, soap. So it, it, uh, it has the uh, antifungal effect. So normally this is used traditionally by our uh, uh, ladies, even in the uh, princess long ago, to uh, clear the hair uh, as a shampoo. Now we improve up to this uh, viral shampoo. So, so uh, I would assume from this, this is also 100% biodegradable. Yeah, uh, this is 100% natural. The second one is uh, the viral. Veralu is the name of this shampoo. This is uh, very similar to olive tree, which is growing in new countries. Yeah. Yeah. So the oil, uh, uh, actually the leaf extract is mixed with uh, soap nut base. Right. So it is basically a traditional fungicide. It controls the problems uh, uh, which is caused by fungus in the head. So it improved the quality of the uh, product. And I guess in Sri Lanka, because it is so humid, fungus would be a very big problem. 
Um, yeah. This... Here, um, I've lived in Corfu Island for quite a while, and fungus is everywhere in the houses. The mould is growing, so I'm assuming we still we would also have the problem, but not quite to the same degree. Um, yeah. Look, this comes in a dry pack. Yet I saw um, uh, the founder of the uh, Sepra products, uh, Amura Bandara, using the soap as a liquid, uh, the seed, the squash. So how come this is dry? The active ingredients also we can keep a long time. So a long so shelf life. Yes. Oh, that's, fun. that's brilliant. So easy to carry, easy to transport, and will sit in your shelf forever kind of thing. Yeah, this idea because the uh, cheap in dry condition traditionally. Next product. This is the Ligo. Uh, the bee honey is improved, right? Yep. And the third thing is the, uh, the stems of our national tree, that is normal uh, stamens. Those are the three ingredients uh, included in Ligo. What is the national tree called again? Uh, yeah. That is Mesura Feria Botanical Name means that is our Sri Lanka national uh, tree. The flower is beautiful, white, fragrant. The stamens are used uh, to improve the quality of Ligo. Wow. Okay, what's the purpose of Ligo? This is also uh, used uh, as anti-agent cream for the skin. Uh, especially uh, the improved the complexion of the skin and uh, the quality and control skin uh, diseases as well as the uh, edges of the skin. It's good for the facial improvements. It gives the young look huh. to the uh, skin. Yes. Oh, that's very nice. This so the main ingredients are coconut cream and honey, or the bees honey. So uh, in wild collection in the local areas, now we are improving. Day by day to collect the uh, natural honey for this product. All right, well then my question is, how can that be and remain sustainable if business does very well for SEPA? Uh, rearing of uh, uh, bees in uh, rural areas to collect more honey. And uh, those villages also are now benefited. Now we, we pay the money for villages to uh, collect the bees' honey. This has a very beautiful smell. Okay, thank you very much, Kerry. We will product. maintain the quality. Um, next is the Nia Aloe Vera Body Lotion. Yeah. What are your ingredients? How do you use it? Yeah, mainly gel of uh, aloe vera leaf. Yep. Uh, so this is pure natural and we uh, cultivate with home gardens without using any chemicals. I use aloe vera at home. I've always had a plant for burns, sunburn, scalding fire, that kind of thing. So I would assume it's good for that. What else is it good for? This is uh, especially for dry skin. You can use uh, to moisturize the skin. Really? Okay. Well, let's just take a look at the product. This is just like when it squeezes out, it's just like the gel of, of aloe vera. Yeah. It has a very subtle smell. It's very nice. Um, so the main ingredient is, is an extract of aloe vera. Can you ingest it? Can you eat it? No, actually this is uh, not recommended directly. Yep. All right. Good to know. I'll move on to the next product, which is the hair oil. Yeah. Now the hair oil is sort of greenish blend. So if you wouldn't yeah. mind telling me what is in the product and how you use it. Yeah. Actually, again, uh, the uh, main uh, base is virgin coconut oil and the blue color, uh, the blue or a little greenish color gives by the indigo ferra tinctoria. It's a herb traditionally used to make hair oil in Sri Lanka. Again, it improves the, the color of the hair also because of these two ingredients, indigo ferra and uh, eclipta. And, uh, uh, finally, that uh, vetiva oil, samandara oil, the last one, it gives the, uh, the pleasant smell, uh, the uh, cooling effect to the hair also, okay? to the hair. Okay, and um, it's also coconuts on the front, right, it is, is the main ingredient. Yeah. 
All right, it smells really nice. It's got a bright, uplifting sort of smell to it. How do you use it? Do you just like put a coin size See, blob in your yeah, hand? Yeah, uh, around the spoon, you can take to the hand and apply to the head, then massage the head okay. for uh, three minutes. Okay, so, does it help you grow your hair back when you lose it? Uh, yeah, it improves uh, uh, the hair growth as well as uh, it, uh, stop the falling of hair also. Yeah. Right. So, this is actually if you can uh, use uh, every morning before uh, going to the work, you apply it yourself, you can massage. Morning is better. Right, okay. Yeah, it has a cooling effect, so morning is the good thing. Uh, time for the application to the head. Right, okay. And lastly, the Ferra Herbal Cream. Yeah, yes. Um, now, this is a hair cream, so does it have the same products in it as this one? Are they the same yeah, thing? Uh, this is actually for the young generation. They like to use the hair creams. Uh, so this is a stylizing um, cream or say, or a wax? Yeah, it gives the uh, good uh, look for the hair. Right. So, look, what is your connection with uh, Sepra? You... Actually, I'm the uh, consultant to the Sepra because uh, the uh, proprietor is one of my friends, so I'm helping uh, using my uh, knowledge about the medicinal plants and traditional medicine in Sri Lanka. Uh, this, uh, because in Sri Lanka normally they use the traditional type, so we cannot, uh, especially for Western uh, countries, so this type of uh, tubes and uh, acts are needed. So right. he is doing that. Right. I need the, uh, yeah. Well then, really nice talking to you, Professor. Thank you. Same as well. Goodbye. Bye. Knowledgeable gent. Uh, yeah. He's the superior in Sri Lanka country at this moment on the medicine of Lanka. And it's well known in the Japan also. The, the Japanese government the, to know about the medicinal plants and I already go and meet the Professor Pia. Wow, that's so incredible. The, the government officially recommend him to uh, at this moment in the Japan. Congratulations. Could I, yes, uh, could I please speak to the boss of Sephra? I have um, cinnamon oil extract from the leaf. I've also got cinnamon oil from the bark. Pretty expensive stuff, this one. But distilled, pure, beautiful product. The cardamom oil. Namal, if you don't mind, could you ask the founder of Sepra, Anura Bandara, to introduce himself and let us know a little bit about the company? Uh, I'm uh, Mr. You started in 2006. In 2006. But the company is still small. The reason for being still is small, uh, our uh, production is depend on the how plants can give us the uh, ingredient. So doing uh, international marketing and uh, actually I, uh, I am uh, designing the website and maintaining the social media. Uh, actually we are trying to introduce our uh, system of indigenous medicine in Sri Lanka. 
we want to educate all over the world, medicinal plants and other plants, permaculture, uh, etc. So we are selecting one of the land and uh, doing some uh, <coughs> basic steps. We are already own the land for uh, that project. So I'm going to with you some uh, facts about that. Start that land and uh, give some trees, yep. plants, etc. Look, thank you. The packaging is very thin cardboard, so you are environmentally conscious. So I actually do like the packaging. Is there anything your boss would like to say in closing? He said he invited you to come to Sri Lanka and make some videos uh, yeah. grow, how we grow and what are the heritage seeds here. You can make a document, you can make the show to the world. <coughs> and he invited you to come to Sri Lanka and we have to invite you to, from, uh, to pay, take part of this project that we take a land. I said about you. This is and from the monks, right? We already leave that land. We own that land now. Yeah. Look, I'd love to become a part of that. And if I can't make it, I will help you with the designing, the permaculture designing. As you know already, you and I will be doing all of that anyway. He said we can be up by post, the rest will be there by ourselves. Thank you, so, thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> On my behalf, thank you so much for organizing this. This is very special. And uh, I'll try not to let you down. See you. Nice to meet you all.